Ooh. Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow Star Rail and Acheron lovers, welcome back to what is set to be my final reaction video to Acheron. It's finally time for me to actually see her kit. I've reacted to almost everything else. The only thing we've missed was the video they just made about a couple hours ago, which was a weird little video, which was just... I, it's better just to honestly show it, actually. Let me let me just go over it here. It was a video called... Um, a Moment Among the Stars Robin X Colors. That's the only thing I haven't reacted to. And I guess we could kind of just play it here right now to sort of speak about it. I'll just combine these two into one. I said I wasn't going to react to it, but here I am anyway. Anyway, here it is. It's really cool. I really liked it. It's from the other trailer, too, where she fought the uh, Celeron Hunters. Oh, here's my favorite part. Fly your color. Your color. So as we can see, that's not Acheron. That's Robin with the little, you know, wing things on her neck and stuff. So I was really confused why the fuck they showed this. I, I honestly have no clue still. I thought this was an actual collab with makeup. But as far as I could tell from all the, um, from the whole, uh, description, of which is fucking terrible, because I really, really hate the fact that, um, this is the new YouTube layout for me only. But, um, yeah, as far as I could tell, this isn't real. I thought it was, like, actually going to be in real life, but it's not. <laughs> Excuse me. And, uh, this is the lady that was in the trailer. You know, the, the other one I mentioned. I thought it was maybe Acheron's sister. I thought Acheron was hallucinating. I thought it was a split personality. It turns out it's Robin. And it might not be Robin. It could be technically someone else in um in the Star Rail story. I won't say exactly who, but it's someone very mischievous and very somewhat evil that we know of. But I'm not going to say more than that for fear of spoilers. But anyway... Finally, we're up to the keeping up with the Star Rail. We can see her kit. We can see Owlbert. We can see everything. So, I'm very excited. I've literally stayed away from her kit. I obviously know some things because I can't avoid every spoiler. I know she works with debuffs. I know she's Nihility, but kind of a weird type of Nihility. And I know she doesn't use energy. So, very interesting stuff. But without further ado, let's get into her kit and let's see what Albert says about her. Because I always love the little back and forth. I wonder if Albert is actually going to interview her or not. And also, before we get into it, just to waste more time in the beginning here. Um, you know, I always like to say, am I rolling for the character while I react to them? And Acheron's out. And after this, I'm going to go streaming live on Twitch TV slash Technics channel and play the update. Uh, and actually try her out in the test run before I roll for her probably next week after all the anniversary rewards. You know, I often have criteria. I've been through them a couple times, a lot of times already. You know, are they hot? Are they good? Do I like their lore? It's a resounding yes for all three. I'll keep it, you know, short, sweet, and simple. I'm going to roll for fucking Acheron and her fucking Lycone. Hopefully I can get both. We'll see. Anyway, let's go into it. We have just received an S level water notice from the IPC. Oh. Akron, female, age, current female. residence, and home world unknown. <sighs> wow, member of everything's the privilege, unknown. Akron is the prime suspect in the assassination of several criminals wanted by the IPC, including one high profile case involving the annihilation. A flame oh match. my god, look at what she's doing to him. She's besmirching him. As of today, the Galaxy Rangers have yet to respond in any fashion because she's not really a Galaxy Ranger. You know, I I'm just going to spoil it here and now because if you don't know it already, then I don't know what to tell you, but she's not a Galaxy Ranger. Wait, she eliminated one of criminals and became a wanted criminal? That kind of doesn't make sense. Public. If you see this person or have any clues about her whereabouts, please notify us using the comment section at the bottom I'm of the screen. So screens. interested the in her lore. Shortly and reward you with how many credits? Oh my god, the IPC just bleeds money. Lightning Nickelodeon. Let's <laughs> so explore the rumors surrounding the enigmatic Who is it? Who is it? We have invited an eminent soothsayer as today's expert guest. Who? Without further ado, let's welcome Black Swan. Oh! Akron oh, keeps a low profile oh. and operates in the shadows. Yes! The IPC doesn't have any So this is actually interesting how they got Black Swan for this because Black Swan is, um, you know, she fucked with Akron and found out. Now she got off easy compared to everyone else who's fucked with her. 
any clear leads. What approach would you recommend? Look Story at her memories. Deceive, but memories never lie. Oh God, what is that <laughs> weird <laughs> hand? Swan recommendation. <laughs> now then, let's take a look at the precious memory bubble Black Swan brought us. Oh God, did she take it I from Acheron? Acheron is a lightning type character on the path in the hill. Yes, look at her booba. Her it looks uncomfortable. She's pulling out a... Peach? What the? <laughs> She well, likes peaches? Anyway, let's get down That's so cute. When Akron uses her basic attack, she does lightning damage based on her attack to a target enemy. Okay, so her basic is Wasn't normal. Wasn't easy getting this memory bubble here. Not going to take a closer look. Oh, uh, wait, there's more? <laughs> wait, there's stacks above her head. Wait, what? Or above the dinosaur's head. The characters, Akron has a very unique charging mechanism known as Slash Dream. Oh. When using her skill, Akron accumulates a certain quantity of Slash Dream. She then okay. sets stacks of Crimson Knot on a single target and deals lighting damage to adjacent targets based on her attack. Oh my. It literally looks like Ball, which is, you know, right in May. This is like the granddaughter of right May. Ball is the child. Like, Akron is the grandchild if we're just going in order. Like, that universe thing literally looked like Ball's plane of Euthymia. Enough slash dream. Akron can use her ultimate. She frees oh her right my arm and god. Her sword, casting everything into a sea of darkness and engulfing what her the? enemies in a black hole of terror. Only the color of blood remains. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'm confused. Does she just does, does damage? Only in her memories has all color faded away. The black Akron is just floating. Black and white are her favorite color. Love black and white. Incredible. When using her ultimate, Akron can choose a target for each of her three attacks. Oh, so she could switch. A certain amount of lighting damage and removes a set number of crimson knot stacks. Okay. Whenever crimson knot is removed, lighting damage is dealt to the target, with greater damage being for each stack removed. Okay. Finally, when sheathing her blade, Akron deals lightning damage to all enemies based on her attack. Oh my God. All stacks of crimson knot from the battlefield. Okay. Karma can be cut by that blade. Jesus. This doesn't sound like Black Swan that much. Uh, what's her secret? She sounds Let's not calm. Watching. Thanks to her one of a kind talent. When using her ultimate, Akron can reduce enemy toughness while ignoring weakness types. So she takes three off every time. For all enemies. Wow. When any unit on the field, even enemy units, causes an enemy to become debuffed. Akron gains one slash dream and one stack of crimson knot. All tools uh -huh. are available to use, including the enemies. <laughs> Bruh, this doesn't sound like Akron. This sounds almost like Kafka. Like Akron sounds a lot more calm. This is not what am I saying, Akron? Black Swan. God fucking damn it. Black Swan does not sound like this. Like she sounds like too not calm. Again, it sounds like Kafka. You said it. Keep what's mine and borrow what's yours. Wow. But that's not all her talent does. There's the more. Target, the not is defeated, Gets transferred. Transfer to the enemy unit of course. With the not stacks on the field. Wow. If Akron wants to maximize her battle prowess and ability to inflict damage, she's going to need allies on the field who can inflict debuffs. Oh. No oneself. Know your allies. See, it does sound like Black Swan a little bit, but it's like weird. And no, your enemy. The rain falls on us all. What's her Akron technique? Uses her technique to enter battle at the start of every wave. I repeat, every wave. Every wave. She gains a certain amount of slash stream after her next ultimate. Stacks a certain number of crimson knot on a random enemy. Inflicts lightning damage on all enemies based on her attack and reduces toughness of all what enemies the fuck? regardless of weakness type. And what? That's not all. If uh -huh. Akron is a normal enemy, her technique will vanquish it without even entering battle. Nah. And it won't consume any technique points. Wow. I'm getting the impression that Akron But she just clears trash mobs. Just what kind of person is she exactly? She's fucking crazy. I show you memories, but interpreting them is up to you. Why are there so many she sounds the sounds weird. Show? It seems like no matter where Akron travels throughout the universe, danger is waiting for. After unlocking a specific trace, Akron enters battle with a set amount of slash dream and inflicts Red a certain Oni. number of crimson nut stacks on a random enemy. 
Wow. So your skill. They gain a set number of Crimson Knot stacks. When allies use a basic attack against the same enemy, they become inflicted with Burn. Akron gains one point of Slash Dream, and the enemy is inflicted with another stack of Crimson Knot. Realizing uh -huh. the combos they can create with Akron's ability. Allies yeah. inflict a debuff on the enemy, triggering another wave of Slash Dream and Crimson Knot. The enemy tries to get smart with a counterattack, but ends up triggering a debuff from Akron's ally, landing themselves with a stack of Crimson Knot and granting Akron another point of Slash Dream. So if the enemy does it to you, they still get a stack. That's crazy. Ooh, it's ultimate o'clock! And Akron oh doesn't my god. Amid the rain of darkness, so if you can just focus the fucking dino and take all the stacks. Uh, my god. <laughs> The enemy is vanquished from this point of existence. We're gonna need a bigger ambulance. Oh my god. Because they're dead. As though they never even existed. Wow. We learned all kinds of things about Akron. And, uh, well, I've got you. Looking at the year ahead. Oh. Any chance I can get rich and retire early? Ooh, that she's not a fortune teller. One moment. Oh. Oh shit, she's divining. The chibis are so cute. Oh no, that doesn't look good. About your hopes for the future, I recommend taking a nap. It might happen in your dreams. Ooh, <laughs> that's so fucked up. I can hardly take a... What was he gonna say? Shit? <laughs> wow. Well, now I know what Acheron does. Interesting. Interesting. So, I'm definitely gonna watch out to see her numbers because i've heard her numbers are insane i mean you know just look at my feed right ultimate acheron guy destroy everything and then um what else there's usually more acheron stuff in my thing but i guess it's just vtuber and avatar shit because that's what i'm kind of watching anyway yep so that's about it for my coverage of acheron final verdict definitely rolling for her i would love to have another damage dealer i probably shouldn't roll for her just because i have all the damage dealers i need Afka, Black Swan, Jing Liu. But I can always use another one. And I want variety. And I like Raiden Mei and Ball. So that's going to be it. I'm excited. I hope everyone enjoyed. And like I said, right after this, I'm going live at Twitch TV Sus Techno's channel. So please tune in. Hope everyone enjoyed.